From the Tribune News Network, this is News Break. I'm Kirk Smith, keeping an eye on the coronavirus numbers for the country as the third wave continues. The Ministry of Health reporting 17 total cases for Sunday, spread over a number of islands, 13 of them in the capital, approaching 12,000 total cases now. But there's still concern about that spread. The Barry Islands now out of lockdown, but an extension now in place for Cannes Island and parts of Andros will last another seven days. Two things officials remain primarily concerned about, vaccine hesitancy and the presence of variants in the country, not confirmed as yet, according to Health Minister Wells. I'm pushing the issue with our national reference lab so that we can get the results back from, from, from CARFA, the Caribbean Public Health Agency in the Caribbean, so that we're able to inform the Bahamian people as to what particular variant we have. But again, I want to reiterate and state again, whichever variant it is, if you get vaccinated, the vaccine, AstraZeneca, has been proven to be effective against it. The latest vaccine numbers, more than 62,000 doses have been administered. 48,000 persons have had at least one shot. 13,000 plus now fully vaccinated. This is news break from the Tribune News Network. Those vaccine numbers need to go up. Health officials say we need about 120,000 total vaccinations to reach herd immunity in the country. But former Health Minister Dr. Dwayne Sand says he believes we need 200,000 more than we have now. And he says he understands the hesitancy. We have to be loving, we have to be compassionate, we have to be caring to understand the concerns. People are afraid in some instances. They have seen all types of terrible things on the internet, on social media. Uh, there, there are all types of stories going around about horrible events, some of which are real. And I think we have to be an uh, open, transparent, honest with people about the risks, about the benefits, about who is at high risk for uh, vaccine adverse events. The coroner now looking into the latest police-involved shooting incident happened here in the Capitol over the weekend. A cutlass wielding man shot after he charged officers with a weapon. It's not fatal. From the holiday weekend, police looking into the latest murder, the fatal shooting of a man here in the Capitol. Officers also looking into an apparent drowning incident reported from Abaco. Immigration officials have confirmed that 99 Haitian nationals were repatriated last week. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's overnight AccuWeather weather update brought to you by Bahamas Power & Light, BPL. Turning partly cloudy tonight, overnight lows from the mid to upper 70s. 75 at Freeport, 78 in the capital, 79 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories, wind settling at 10 to 15 knots. The sea's 2 to 4 feet overnight. The next tide is a high around 7 o'clock this evening. Tuesday's forecast, partly sunny, highs in the mid to upper 80s. No systems in the tropics. Your weather update brought to you by Bahamas Power and Light, BPL. Through all severe weather situations, they will be there by your side. This is News Break from the Tribune News Network. Let the Bahamas and the world know that you're open for business by advertising in the Tribune and on Tribune242.com. Reach the market that'll get your cash registers ringing by calling 502-2394 today. All professional advertising agents are on hand to customize packages just for you, and consultations are free. Give your business the maximum exposure for an affordable investment, and let us help you increase your sales. Call 502-2394 today. We're open for business. Let the world know you are too. The Tribune, the people. Paper, biggest and best. World news headlines. U.S. President Biden on the way to London for this week's G7 summit there. It's the first extended overseas trip for the president. He has a NATO meeting and a meeting with Russian President Putin before it's over. More countries dealing with increasing coronavirus cases. The latest is Vietnam, where another surge is hitting that country after they thought they had it under control. Improving numbers in India, the situation there not as bad as it was but they still have a ways to go, according to health officials. Sports Notes now brought to you by the Tribune Sports section on TV. There's soccer, always soccer there, and Major League Baseball, but a limited schedule tonight, just three games. Jazz and the Marlins heading home after that road trip. They open a series against the Rockies tomorrow night. DeAndre Ayton and the Suns open their NBA semifinal series against Denver tonight. That'll be on TV. 
John Quell coming off that 31-point game on Saturday, off tonight, not scheduled to play again until Sunday coming. For all of your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories. In the Tribune newspaper, on the streets first thing in the morning, stay up to date online at tribune242.com.